One week after a Boyle Heights family lost a loved one in a fire and their entire home, they are now sharing their story for the first time and only on NBC4. Christian Casares is live outside the house right now with the loss they are facing. Christian? That's right, and I can tell you that I've been talking to several members of the Flores Briseño family all day, and they tell me that this is just a heartbreaking situation that they're going through. Not only are they dealing with the loss of a loved one, but also the loss of this house that you see here behind me. This is the family home that they've been living in for the past 60 years. And just within the last hour, we've learned another family member that was able to escape the fire is now fighting to survive at the hospital. It hurts a lot. Um, because it was so beautiful. We met Patricia Hauregui outside her family home as she and her entire family are coping with the new but grim reality. It looks like everybody's going to have to say goodbye. The century-old house on Boyle Avenue and Whittier Boulevard has been in their family for six decades. Weddings happen here. Funerals happen here. My mom has her big picture of when she was married in front of this house. Until last week. When an overnight fire burned it down, neighbors quickly rushing into the backyard, breaking down fences and helping people escape, including Patricia's elderly aunt. To think that my aunt would not have, I don't think she would have survived if she hadn't been taken out of there because the backyard is very, there's a lot of, uh, of, of foliage back there, a lot of plants that they have. And the thought of her having to sit there watching the house come down and not be extricated. It just, it gives you faith in our community, in our gente. LA Fire says five people were inside the home when the fire started around 4.30 in the morning. But when firefighters arrived, they found one woman on the front porch who did not survive. Patricia says that woman was her aunt Ines. She was this really loud, happy woman. She had this incredible laughter um, and big hugs, always with her mandi. You know? Now the family is facing multiple challenges, they say, as they prepare to say their final goodbye to the family monarch and protect their home from looters while making readjustments to their lives to help those that survived the unimaginable. My aunt um, is very elderly and she's going to need care. Uh, my uncle has advanced dementia, so he's going to need care. And the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but the family did open up a GoFundMe account. They say that hopefully this will help them get through this very difficult time. But again, during the last hour, we've learned another family member who did survive this fire and was in critical condition in the hospital. They are now fighting for their life. We're live in Boyle Heights, Christian Casares, NBC4 News.